Hello, girlfriends, and welcome to Saturday Live here in Tracy Gold, New York style studio here in the city. I'm so happy to have you here and welcome. Today, I am talking about colors that make your complexion pop and I am weaving it in to the new styles that I'm just about to reveal, which I'm so excited about. So these styles came as the result of me needing some plain color tops that I could wear on QVC and also just in my wardrobe. I wanted a elevated t-shirt and jeans look without looking like I was trying too hard or that the things were clinging in all the wrong places or that the t-shirts are just way too baggy and shapeless. None of that's going to work. And so I went to a lot of like attention to detail, looked at styles I had done before in my collection because I found this amazing fabric. And this fabric is a really good thick cotton lycra fabric, which let me tell you girls is not easy to find and is not easy to find in such fabulous colors. So I have like an array to show you and I'm very excited about it. And while we are talking about these particular styles, I'm also going to be talking about colors that make your complexion pop. Because listen, spring is here. Okay, not so much in New York. <laughs> It's still, it's freezing. It's a quite cold outside, but spring is in the air, shall I say? And I don't know about you, but I am in for some really great color, really great pops of color. But finding plain color tops, I went shopping when I had to. So when I started QVC with Patricia Nash, I had to wear all solid colors. Now I don't know if you know me. If you know me, you know I don't do solids, girls. Like. <laughs> I have print, print, and print. So I actually had to go shopping for clothes because I needed things quickly. I couldn't tell. I buy most of my fabrics online. Could not see what they look like online. It just, when it comes to solid, it's very different. And I found when I went to stores, the solid colors were terrible. Like the tops were horrible. I mean, really bad. Like, terrible they clang in all the wrong places they showed everything even some very high-end ones and so i set out to kind of see what i could create that would work for different women's body shapes and still give us the comfort that we that we're looking for right and the colors that we're looking for so first of all let's talk about color because a lot of women wear black black and black because they're afraid to get color wrong let me tell you girlfriend you can't really get color extremely wrong. Do you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. Now, should you go and buy a like super high end designer t top or whatever in a color you're not sure about? Maybe not. All right. But when you start playing with color, there are some colors that are really easy to wear like super easy. I've been styling women for over 20 years. I've been designing for women over 20 years. And there are two, there are, there are a few colors that you just cannot go wrong with. One is turquoise. Turquoise looks fantastic on any complexion. And you get various different kinds of turquoises. You get a green turquoise, you get a blue turquoise, you get all different arrays, but the cleanest kind of turquoise, like similar to what I've got on, a very blue turquoise look good on everybody. Things that are very blue undertone, I don't know if you know what that means, but it, it has a very clean undertone to it. It's a clean look. That is a good color. And you're going to notice that with all of these colors, they are very clean. So they're not like a, you know, with a muggy color. Let me give you an example of a muggy color. A muggy color would be something like, um, okay, like these kind of colors, right? Where it's kind of an olivey, kind of blue type of hue. Absolutely fine if this looks good on you, but if it doesn't, it can make your complexion look a little bit more muggy. So we don't really want that, okay? But with a clean color, something that has a very clean undertone, it's a really good one. This color green, I'm gonna try this on. Don't judge it by on the hanger because it looks terrible on the hanger, but it's a great color. It is a clean, clean, 
apple green. So a lot of women are nervous about green. They fear that green isn't going to look good on them. But an apple, a really clean apple green suits most complexions. Navy is a really good basic. Now, I know that's not a pop of color, but in this, in this case, I've actually combined it with turquoise. And I think that really works well. Let me say that navy is a phenomenal neutral. It is one of my, I'm absolutely obsessed about navy this season because it's softer on the skin. It's not, it doesn't drain your complexion and it goes with most colors. So it's really, really easy to combine. Think about jeans. Like everything goes with your jeans. Most things go with navy. And then I have this beautiful coral color. Now this coral is more of an orange coral. You get more of a pink coral. This is an orange coral. It's again, a very easy, like it's a really bright pop of color, really easy color to wear. So I'm going to show you all of these in the show. I'm also going to show you the shirt dress that is brand new. This is the Indigo Rain print. And this can be worn as a dress or as a shirt. You can tuck it in all the different things. So I'm going to be showing you that. Now, Let's get into the styles of what I've created. So one of my pet peeves, I'll tell you, one of my pet peeves is showing bra lines in t-shirts. I don't know, I just am not mad about it. <laughs> I mean, I know it's existing and I know that you need to have good bra, like a good bra, a good, a good bra because that's going to make a big difference. But I'm not crazy about it, especially if I'm going to go on national television. I don't want to see panty lines. I don't want to see bra lines. So what I did, all of the tops, and I'm just going to lift up for you. Don't worry. It's underneath. <laughs> I have this little piece on underneath. Okay. So this entire front bit top bit is lined with the same fabric on underneath. And what that does is it gives you a really a much cleaner line. Okay, so you can see a little bit of a bra strap, but not as much as you would see if not. And especially in the front, it gives a really nice clean line. Then what I've done is at all the tops, and you're going to notice this, we're going to talk about jeans and what you would wear with tops like this. Look, these may not be your thing. You might want, you know, you might say, Tracy, none of those styles are ones that I like or that I want to buy. No problem. This is a no pressure zone. This is just also to give you some tips and tricks on what to wear with tops like this, more fitted tops, because there is some strategy. You do need to give it some thought. Okay, so one of the other things is to get tops a little longer. And the reason for that is, is that, and I'm going to come up close to the camera. Can you see, this is showing my jeans. Okay, now I have a high-waisted skinny jean on. I'm a huge fan of the high-waisted. I think it is really very flattering. It doesn't kind of get me in all the wrong places. I feel like it gives some curve as well. But if I put a top that is a little longer over this, you're going to see where the jean, you're going to see where the pockets are and the zip is and that kind of thing. So what I've done, and this is also to help if you need a little bit of ruching around the belly area, is to make the tops a little bit longer. And then I just do a little ruching there. Okay. What that does is it actually disguises the belly. You don't see so much the lines of my jeans. It really can look fabulous. And that way, and at the back as well. So because often what happens is that women are nervous about this, okay? These are, let me just say, these are very fitted. However, they actually need to be fitted in the beginning because as time goes on, there's quite a lot of spandex in this fabric and this fabric is going to stretch out. It is going, I, I cannot tell you how many times I've made a top and then I have like a, oh no, oh no, it's too tight. And then I wear it for a bit and I'm like, okay, this is not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, but it does require you to quite like your shape. However, what you wear with it is very important. Very, very important. Hey, Jessica, so good to see you, girlfriend. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about what we can wear with it, and then I'm going to show you the different styles. So first of all, the kind of pants and the kind of jeans or the kind of skirt that you wear is of utmost importance. And I'll tell you why. If you are wearing jeans too low, I'm going to pull mine down. Okay. If you are wearing, we're just going to get real about this. 
you know, we all have things we don't like. But what this does, can you see what this is doing to me? Can you see how it's actually pulling, it's pushing up and out? So if the waistband is at the wrong place, and then you put the top over it. Can you see what's happening? Also, because this is a solid color, it doesn't have the forgiving powers as a as a printer top does. You could wear the same top in a print and you're not going to see the same kind of, 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 it just is completely different. That's why I love prints so much, girlfriends. That is why. But, you know, there's a time and place for solids. But it has to be in a specific fabric. It has to be in a specific style. And you have to give some thought to how you're wearing it. So this would do that, right? However, if my jeans are at a nice level like these, you see, they're sitting above. They're nice and fitted. Now, this is going to be different for each woman because it depends on how high, like, what your waist length is. I am quite long-waisted, so this really works for me. And then I put the tops there. And remember... If you are petite, you want to show as much of your leg as possible. You want to show as much of your shape as possible. And this is going to give you that shape. Now, if you still are not crazy about or you're just having a bad day and that's what happens, you can pop on a little waistcoat or a little jacket on top and it will give you that pop of color on underneath and give you some of the coverage here. But I have to say that my, my, my best is always to say, rather choose things that you can wear in multiple different ways. It's, I'm only saying that if you are having a day where you're feeling like mm, not so crazy, I feel like my love handles are showing a little bit too much, this is a very easy fix, is to have a waistcoat in your closet that is going to give you still that shape and that coverage. Now, by the way, I got some of the fab I got fabrics um, for the waistcoats. Have I don't like them. I'm sending them back and I now need to look for more fabric. <laughs> okay. This is another option. This is great for the springtime. This is a thrifted denim jacket that I have. It's a little crop jacket. You do want to make sure that any jacket that you wear over it has got shape to it. You don't want something boxy. You want something that's got shape, that's cropped, that's cool and fabulous. This is the kind of thing. And this is going to give me the coverage. And it's great for this time of the year when it's, you know, a little bit on the springtime. But again, I would prefer for you to have tops in your wardrobe that you don't feel you have to wear something over it all the time. It's just if you're not having that great a day. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the very fashionable wide leg jean. Okay. I am a huge fan of wide legs. I think wide legs suit most women, but you do need to get the right kind of wide leg. I spent a lot of time shopping for this particular pair of jeans. I mean, I must have gone through, and I'm not lying, girlfriends, I must have gone through probably about 40 pairs of jeans that I tried on. I'm serious. I went to so many different stores I tried on, and it was very difficult to figure out my size because in one size, uh, in one brand, I'm in this size, and another brand on that size. And then even within the brand, if the fabric doesn't have stretch, you know, the denim doesn't have stretch, if it's a different cut, if it's a higher waisted versus a lower waisted, it fits differently. Uh, I must have tried on at least 40 different pairs of jeans. And then I found these online. And luckily, I was very excited that they fit. So I'm going to pop these on for you. They are ultra high waisted. I do want to say to you though that this works really well for me because I do have a long waist and I feel like it creates the illusion that my legs are much longer than they are. I have a long top body and I have short legs. So this works like a charm for me but this is a great way to wear these kinds of tops because they can be fitted and they need to be fitted on the top. So I was at an um, event this weekend, during this week, and a friend of mine said to me, she says, oh, you know, I went shopping for jeans, and I got a pair of jeans that I feel quite good in. I'm not quite sure about them, but I feel kind of funky and, and that kind of thing. But she says and they, were, they were more of a, like a boyfriend jean, so a little bit looser, and she's been wearing skinnies all the time. She said it was so nice to wear something different for a change, and it made her feel really good. And then she said, but now... 
I guess that, that I have to like, what tops do I wear with it? And I said, bingo, that's exactly it. You do actually need to consider the tops that you're wearing with it because if you are wearing something that has more volume on the bottom, you need to go really fitted towards the top. The same tops that you were wearing with your skinny jeans, if they are longer and maybe a little bit more kind of baggy, are not going to work with, with a voluminous pair of jeans because then it's volume and volume. So that's what I want to share with you is that these are ultra high waisted, which I really like. I love these jeans. I actually do wear them on QVC because they're more of a dressed up jean, right? And you're going to see that this season, jeans are not ripped anymore. They're not distressed anymore. They're more like pants rather than jeans. And, you know, you still get your traditional jeans, but it's really important. And then what you are looking for as well in a wide leg, and this is across the board, girlfriend. So yes, this high waist, like ultra high waist, it suits me. It may not suit you if you've got a very short waist. It may feel like it's coming just about, you know, below your boobs and not really working for you. Or if you're quite busty, this might be a little bit challenging for you. But this particular pair, I absolutely love. What you are looking for in a wide leg jean is something that has got shape to it. So it fits really nicely in the waist. It has a good fit. So be very careful of any of this kind of gapingness at the back. That's not going to be suitable. And then it fits over almost quite snugly on your hips. And then it goes flayed into the hem. Okay. And it creates that again, that triangle look. And I do recommend that if you are wearing a pair of wide leg jeans and you are petite, a pair of platforms is advisable. <laughs> I'm just going to say it because it will give you that extra height. The great thing about wide legs is that they do need to kind of touch your shoe and then it almost creates the illusion that you're wearing flats. Nobody knows how high your shoes are. So try and make your jeans as long as possible without making them so that they're dragging on the ground or that they are too long that they're creating a sloppy look at the bottom because that is going to make your leg, it's going to kind of cut your width, I mean your length. What you want is you want a nice long line, something that's going to create a line that goes down the body and it's going to look absolutely fab. Now this particular top is one of the tops that I made specifically for these kinds of jeans because the, the flare really gives that nice width and then it creates an illusion that my waist is smaller than it is. Girls, I don't have much of a waist and at the moment I'm fighting for my waist. <laughs> I'm in battle for my waist as I'm going through perimenopause. I'm doing hula hoop, like weighted hula hooping again to try and get some of that waist in definition because wow, it is quite incredible how our bodies start to change. So I don't, I already don't have much of a waist. So what I do is I create the illusion that this is wide so that I've got pretty broad shoulders, but now I'm adding extra and then it creates this this illusion that I have more of a waist than I really have. Okay. And what's nice is that in this case, you can tuck the top in and it looks really nice. You're not seeing anything. The, the tummy's got the coverage because you've already got a little bit of the pleating here. You've got this nice kind of belt thing going. So this can work really nicely. If you have a firmer denim, or maybe you have a denim that has got a little bit of that tummy tuck, like not your um, not your daughter's jeans. Those jeans have often got the tummy tuck in them. Those are really great. Those could work extremely well. But you have to be prepared to try on a whole bunch. You have to also be prepared not to get emotionally attached to a size label. Because I could be, I'm not lying to you, I could be four different sizes in jeans easily four different sizes and so i just don't get emotionally attached anymore and if i don't like the size label i just cut it out <laughs> so that i'm not feeling like oh you know what i'm you know what i mean okay so this is how this is another way that i'm going to wear it i'm going to show you one other pair of pants these are i actually made them for myself i don't have fabric i don't make pants because making sure that pants fit for women from a distance is a different ball game altogether but i'm going to show you they're not as high-waisted 
but I think that they work really well with this top and I'm going to show you why. And I'm also going to show you how that it can be a little bit more dressy. So a t-shirt, a t-shirty fabric top doesn't have to just be super cash. It can actually be sort of day wear, maybe if you're in a semi-casual work environment. You know, a lot of time I'm finding now women are saying to me, there's just no, there's just like, there's just no um, dress code anymore for work. And so what I'm finding is that often women are looking for things that are a little bit more casual, a little bit more, they feel like, you know, they they kind of make me feel good, but it's not something that's overly dressy for work. Okay, so this is now these, oh, I love these. Oh, wait, hold on, the belt's a little long on that one side. Let me just adjust this. Okay, so this, I love this, this pair of pants. I actually found this tiny piece of fabric that was left over. And I used to have a pair of pinstripe pants years ago, and I got rid of them because I just didn't quite understand how to wear them yet because they were navy. <laughs> now I'm like, you know, I thought I had to have navy shoes. No, you don't have to navy, navy shoes. A silver shoe is perfect or a color shoe is perfect. So this is kind of a, I would say it's a normal high-waisted, but not ultra high-waisted. And look at how you can wear it just casually or kind of a little bit more dressed up. And then I'm gonna show you, but again, if you are wearing this kind of pant, you may want to either, and let me just show you. So either you lose the belt totally, okay? If you've got more of a tummy and you can wear this over it like that, but don't pull this. Don't do that, girlfriends. That's not going to work. It's also gonna shorten your legs and it's going to make your imp your your tummy seem the emphasis rather and that's why these are made longer rather do a little rushy rush do you see how fabulous that is do you see so you still have and then you still have that tummy coverage and you're actually cutting the tummy at its widest point so you're cutting it and you're making it de you de-emphasizing your tummy which that's what you want to do see so that can look really stunning as well and then again if you need a little bit of extra coverage i'm i was very excited about these waistcoats but i'm being quite upset about the fabric because the fabric is just not good enough and i'm not going to make you something that is that i'm just not happy with i just don't believe in that okay so here we go that is also another way that you can wear it you see now you can dress it up you've got the pop of color on underneath you can dress it up with the waistcoat it's fab Okay, so let me show you some of the other ones. All right, let me just get a mm. All right, so I'm going to show you that one I'm definitely going to have to wear with skinny jeans. So now this is a little bit more daring. This is not for women who do not want to show their upper arms, okay? This is definitely more on the daring side. Let me just move these out of the way. I've got these jeans here because I wanted to give you some tips along the way. And girlfriends, these are not on the site yet. I literally just finished them yesterday. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I literally finished them just yesterday. And so I haven't yet. They're not photographed. They're not anything. They're just, this is like a preview. And then I'm giving you tips along the way as well. So maybe you have some tops in your wardrobe already that you can start implementing these tips with. Maybe you do. Okay, so hold on. Let me just get this into, all right, here we go. Okay, Jessica, if you are here, this is for you, girlfriend. <laughs> this is for you. Okay, so this is definitely more of a daring style. I love it. And let me say again, I have got this piece on underneath. Okay, let me just pull it down to make sure. Oh, no, it wasn't pulled down. Hold on. Oh, yes, it was. It was. It was. It was. Here we go. You can see it's a nice lined piece on underneath. So, look, if you are comfortable not to wear a bra, like maybe on the weekend or something like that, this could be an, a sort of a, just a slight extra layer for you. Again, it's made longer so that it can ruche over if it needs to or let the pants do the work 
and if it has a wide waistband or a nice wide facing on the inside then this can work really well i've even worn these pants girls when i was feeling at my most bloated and it was amazing to me how how they really worked <laughs> i was like oh this is so fabulous even though i wasn't feeling so great okay so can you see this is the way you can tuck it so if you're comfortable to tuck in i personally love to tuck in because i want to create a little bit more of a waist emphasis if you don't feel comfortable to tuck in pull it out and then just ruche it up a little bit they're made so that they're also not too long so that they're not sitting down here because what you don't want to do is tuck it in but it's sitting down here and it's just too much fabric that's not going to work either so this is the other one and look this is definitely not again this is not for somebody who doesn't want to show their upper arms or their shoulders but i feel like what this does is it places more emphasis on the on the shoulders rather than the upper arms okay so but it's you know it's about your comfort level right then there's this one let me try this one on this is in the coral and by the way as always with all of my collection you can customize so you can say tracy i want i want this style with the caps with the little frill sleeve and the frill sleeve does wonders to de-emphasize the um the upper arm i want this but i want it in the green or i want it in the coral or i want this color this style but i want it in the in the turquoise so it's up to you as to how you want them let me just pop out and put this on Okay. Oh, and I was so hoping to be doing waistcoats in navy and brown. But like I said, I don't know if you heard me before, but the fabric arrived yesterday and it was just terrible. So ugly. <laughs> and I was like, nope, this is this is not it. This is not what I'm gonna I'm not even going to try and make this look good. It's just got it, it's just terrible. The fabric is terrible. And I hate, I'm very tactile as well. If I don't have the feel of the fabric, then. Ah, I thought you would. I thought you would. Okay, so this is the next one. So this one has got a gold. Um, so I, I'm obsessed with buckles. I love beautiful buckles. They're quite hard to find. I actually get them from a lady in the UK and they're excess designer buckles and so i've created this look here we go and then at the back this is what it looks like okay so this you could wear a bra you could wear a bra with one strap and so it gives you some support again it has the piece on underneath and the piece on underneath let me just get it that definitely helps as well to give you a little bit more support to kind of cover up the bra lines which because i have a strapless bra on and by the way girls if any of you are a smaller cup size i highly recommend pepper bras they are fan freaking tastic this is not sponsored i don't get paid by them i don't even collaborate with them I just tried, I discovered their bras and oh my goodness, they're amazing, especially for a strapless because a strapless is very difficult to find. I've never found a good strapless bra until Pepper. So I have one on now. I've actually adjusted it and I need to, because you know, it stretch. I wore it so much in the summertime. I think it's all that I wore. I like wash and wore, wash and wore, wash and wore. So it really got super worn. I need a new one okay so this is the this is the other one and then let me show you how you can tuck it in okay so let me just pop um because i have to pull my pants down girls i'm not gonna do it to, to tuck it in i i love you girls but there's a limit to what i'm going to do right okay and then if you wanted to add some like extra fun to your look as well you could also do a um oh like this is so beautiful a which one do i want yes a silk scarf so this silk scarf comes from italy and you could also do that this could also work really nicely see this is a nice silk scarf oh and this would go beautifully with the green as well jessica the green oh my hat the green do you remember that look at the green oh my oh my word oh 
Oh my goodness. Oh my hat. This is like, yeah. Okay. Now I'm really excited. And then there's this one as well. This also goes beautifully. Look, with all the different colors. Okay, not both at the same time. <laughs> That's a little OTT. Not both at the same time. This is silk and it's made in, in Rome. I got these from Rome. They're really beautiful. They're double sided as well. They have different. So the one looks, the one side looks like that. It's a scene of Venice and the other is that. And so you could actually just add this to, you know, also great if you want to cover up your, you know, you go into a, maybe you're going out in the evening and you just need that something of a cover. There we go. But you've still got that pop of color on underneath. Really cool. Okay, so this one has got, again, let me just do this here. This one has got the little buckle and it goes back like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you one that is a little bit more tame. <laughs> Because I know this is this is daring for some people, but I'm going to show you a more tame top. Would the sleeveless work for me? Broad shoulders, but getting over trying to cover up my arms with the weight loss. You know, Jessica, I I think broad shoulders are beautiful. I really do. And you know what? For so many for so many years, I also felt like I've got broad shoulders. They actually my broadest point. My broad shoulders. And I feel like it balances out my look. I'd rather my shoulders be my bro broadest point. <laughs> so I actually make them look broader because then I feel like it cinches my waist. So by adding attention up to my, to my shoulders, I feel like it almost gives me more of a waist. Does that make sense? It kind of makes my, my shoulders look broader and then it makes my waist seem narrow in comparison. So that's just a thought. Um, okay, so let me show you this and I'm gonna show you the, the shirt dress as well. Okay, now I'm going back to the skinny jeans. So one of the challenges with all the trends of jeans is that when you change your, jean, your jeans that you're wearing primarily, you have to consider what tops you've been wearing. So the same tops that you've been wearing for your skinny jeans are not going to work for your wide leg jeans. Okay, you are going to have to purchase new tops to go with your wide leg jeans. It just is the way it is because the proportions are going to be all wrong. Jessica says, I think so too, now that I'm defining my waist, which is the shortest part of my proportion. You see, Jessica, that is exactly the thing. That's exactly the thing. And what I would do if I were you is I would look for jeans, if you don't already, you probably already have, but that are kind of mid mid rise which will probably be high rise for you so if you've got a short waist then go for mid rise and they probably will sit up here they'll be perfect then you're defining your waist you're broadening your shoulders it's like it's creating that look do you know what i'm saying it's creating that hourglass look i think it's gorgeous okay so i'm going to pop this on and then show you this one here and also by broadening, by emphasizing your shoulders, you're actually balancing your hips as well, which is really fabulous. It's a really fabulous way to look at it. You see, the thing is, girls, this is what I find. We often try and dress our parts that we want to cover up. Instead of looking at our body as a whole and dressing to create a sense of balance, you all have balance to be had, to work with, it's just finding your balance, right? And how to create that balance. So most times when we say, well, it, you know, starting to say, if you've got broad shoulders, de-emphasize your shoulders. I, I disagree. Look at your body as a whole and then say, okay, so if my shoulders are broad, but I don't have much of a waist, then I want the broad shoulders because the broad shoulders make my waist seem narrow in comparison. If I have hips and I have broad shoulders, hallelujah, really emphasize your, your shoulders because they will balance out your hips. And the way that you best do that is to define in your waist, even if it means you're faking a waist. That's also okay. Because we can fake waist. I fake a waist all the time because I really don't have much of a waist. And as I said, I'm in battle for my waist. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a battle with it. 
because I'm having to really work hard. So I'm doing weighted hula hooping. I did that, you know, when we came, came out of COVID because I definitely picked up some weight during COVID because, you know, I wasn't walking as much. I wasn't, I live in the city. And so I was walk. I went from walking everywhere and walking around to hardly, you know, to not, oops, pardon me, sorry. To not walking much at all. And so I get, you know, obviously like most of us, I gained a bit of weight. And so I discovered Hula hooping, weighted hula hooping, and it is so good. Oh my goodness, I lost my two inches off my waist and my and my hips. I mean off my tummy and my off my tummy and my waist. It was so fantastic. Okay, so this is the next one. Now this is more tame. So for those women who really like Okay, you could have it with a sleeve. Let me just say, if you prefer this with a sleeve, let me just put my shoes on quickly. Okay. There we go. All right. I always just like to have my shoes on because it gives a different perspective. Okay, so if you if you want to have it with a sleeve you absolutely can have it with a sleeve it is shorter in the front so it's a high low and longer at the back and it's navy very dark navy it's not black it's very dark navy and then you'll notice that this is a very nice wavy edge to it so what i did is i actually stretched out the fabric as we put the put the hem the stitching hem in it so that it creates that really nice wavy look so this is a lot tamer than the other styles. It still would show some shoulders and upper arms, although you could have it with a shoulder, if you, I mean, with a sleeve if you prefer. And the nice thing about this is it is more of a peplum style. It's definitely more roomy. It's gonna give you more room around your belly and you can wear it with your skinny jeans. I would not recommend that you wear this with a wide leg pant or jeans at all because the volume is here. You don't want to add extra volume to that. If you're super tall and lanky, maybe you could wear it with a slightly very floaty wide leg, like really floaty, but I don't know. I, like, I, I still, would, I, I still would, would, would think that it's not really going to work. And can you see here? It's really, oh, it's just so fun. I think you could also do like as a little bit of a half tuck if you want to like that you could do it like that and this will give a little bit more ruching around the belly this would be great with a pair of shorts as well so you could have your little shorts there that's probably how i'm going to wear this with a little pair like with a little pair of shorts and a nice little shoe that could be really fun a nice summer uh, summer fun look and again during the during the springtime let me show you you could put either a waistcoat again i'm sorry about the waistcoat Yes, I also think, I feel like this is a Laura top because Laura loves peplum tops. She's like all over peplum tops. So this is a different version of a peplum. I agree with you. I think she will love this. And you can have it in different, you could have it in different two tones, but I like, I really like this two tone. I feel like these two colors work really well together. So you could wear that with a waistcoat, with a waistcoat or with a little jacket, little crop jacket. And it's got that fit and flare look. See, here we go. That could be really fun. Look, isn't it awesome? Isn't that fun? So it's a really easy one, girlfriends. It's like super, super easy. Okay, so now let me show you. This is the, this is the shirt dress. <gasps> Laura! Oh my goodness, girlfriend. You came at the most perfect time. We were just talking about you. <laughs> so this, you'll have to watch the other ones in the replay. But this top, I think, is made for you, girl. It's a two-tone, high-low peplum. <laughs> it doesn't have the lines in it, so it doesn't have the, the lines. You know, the, the, the um, what you call it, the panels but it's got that really nice flair. It's actually taken from the A-line dress and then it's got this, this two-tone. And then all of my tops, all of them girls, have got this piece on underneath. 
that then covers up a lot of the bra strap lines that you get over here. You can still see a little bit of the bra strap lines on the back because those tend to, also I've got mine quite tight today. So I probably that's also another, I've got a strapless bra on. So it's a little tighter than it would normally be for a regular bra. But that at least helps with that. And then there's no stitching. It just looks so nice and clean and a little bit more elevated than a typical t-shirt. You love the shelf bra for the bra coverage. I know that's the thing. You know, that's the thing, Jess. I, you know, when I go on national television, okay, so let me just explain something. National television is a different ball game altogether. What looks good in real life doesn't always look good on camera. And on QVC, I'm demonstrating bags. So what sometimes happens is that the camera comes from above me down below. So like every part of me leaves to look good. <laughs> You know, and it comes in super, super close as well. So I can't have, I don't want bra lines showing. I don't want panty lines showing. I don't want any of that. And so I tend to be very careful with that. But then on the weekends, like my boobs are still perky, girls. <laughs> I've realized that. Like, hey, I, I don't have to be that shy about it. I still got perky boobs and I've got little ones. So I could actually go bra -less. But I would never do that if I don't have this piece on underneath it. I would just never do it, right? It would feel it would feel like it's just a little too much. Whereas the, the little piece, it's not a complete shelf bra. So it doesn't have elastication, but it is exactly the same. Um, it's exactly the same fabric and it's exactly the same cut. So it gives a nice... It just gives a nice line. Look at this. I'm going to come up close and take my hair away so that you can see. And I have got a strapless bra on. It is a good strapless bra. But for with most of the tops, with most of the tops, it does it like you would see this if it was, you know. And this is also thick. This is a thick cotton. It's a really, really nice thick cotton. Oh, you haven't gone bra since the 70s? I'm telling you. I, I, I'm thinking of doing it. I'm thinking of doing like on the weekends, you know, like not, not for work, <laughs> not for you, definitely not for QVC, but, um, but this is really cool. And I wanted something that would do that and it would give that support and would cover the bra lines and all that kind of thing. So this is a really fun piece. And then, um, let me show you Laura as well. These are the colors. This is the other one that I think you would like. So this has got the, let me just try it on really quickly. Um, I've gone once when I had to get diapers at 1 a.m. <laughs> Jessica, did you go in your PJs? <laughs> you forgot to put it on. That's hilarious. That is so funny, Jessica. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to try this one on for you, Laura, as well. The other side, Laura, you, you got your order. You tried everything on. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to hear. Whoops. Okay. Let me just put this. This one I think you'll also really like. Okay, here we go. I still put a bra on if I go onto my PJs. I know. Listen, I haven't even, I mean, like only if I take jazzy art side and I go, you know, and I have, if I have my pajama top on, I put a jacket on over. I've always been a little, you know, but I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm thinking, how much longer are they going to be perky? You know? <laughs> so I may as well enjoy them. <laughs> I haven't had kids though, girls, so just completely upfront about that. I have not had children. That puts a whole different thing. Uh, oh, good. Yay. I'm so happy for you. That is so exciting, Laura. I'm so thrilled. I want to hear, tell, send me text messages and tell me, or show me. I want to see pictures. I want some pictures. Okay, so this is the other one. Again, it has the little shelf piece underneath. Okay, I'm playing around with bras for the color blocks and see what fits best to cover. Yes, 
Exactly. You do have to, and that's one of the things I just want to say, girls, with all of my styles, because they adapt for so many different body shapes, you have to give yourself time to play around to find your perfect way that you're going to wear it. Uh, that's what I do when I'm designing. It takes me hours and hours of time to design one piece because I'm always thinking like, how is somebody else going to wear this? Is this going to be possible for everybody else? You know what I'm saying? Look, some things I'm designing now that are like sleeveless and quite out there and outrageous because there are women who don't mind that, right? There's, there's a time and a place for that. But for the most part, I'm always thinking about you girls and how are you going to wear it? So you have to figure out what works best for you. The blue top and the green top are my favorite. The coral's beautiful too with the buckle. I know. <gasps> I know. And you know what I'm going to do, Jess, is that if you buy one, it's one price. But if you buy like three, it's a discounted. So I'm going to do that. Chili chocolate is fabulous, but the peridot, oh, the peridot cobalt is marvelous. Laura, Jessica, did you just hear that? Oh, and it's getting to be engagement party dress, whatever that, whenever that happens. Yay. I'm so excited for you, Laura. That is so exciting. Okay, so the other thing I just want to say again, and I'm just going to mention it again, the tops that the pants that you wear with these tops is very important, even this one. Okay, even this one that is the high low, you definitely want to get the right, the right um, line, the right, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again, just so that you can all see. If my pants are sitting lower, okay, can you see what's happening? Can you see how it's doing this? And then can you see when I put the top over and if I pull it there, that's what you're going to notice. That's what you're going to see. However, my pants are up the right level. Okay. They're nice and high waisted. They give me that support. I still don't want to pull my top down because I'm going to see where the lines are, where the, you know, the pockets and all that kind of thing. So what I'm rather going to do is I'm going to rushy rush it up like this. Okay, and that way, and it's long enough to ruch. That's the point. Plus, if I lift up my arms or I bend down, okay, do you see? You're not losing, you're not, it's not ending up there. Your pants are not coming down. That's the thing is that when it comes to comfort, you want to make sure that your, that your waistband fits you properly, that it doesn't dig in, that it's that perfect level, and then your top's complement the pants that you're wearing okay and work for your body shape laura um laura send me a picture of the cobalt and peridot oh yes chili chocolate if the, I, I would agree jessica i think you need i think you need to see it you two need to switch uh, need to um share photos okay so again i think i'm gonna do laura do you want to quickly shall i quickly show you these ones again the green and the these are for sleeveless though. They are, they are sleeveless, but they're fabulous. Oh, and you know what I love is that these, these um, scarves that I got in Italy go perfectly. This top is so good. I'm telling you it is so good. And I, listen, let me say, girls, I've been feeling very self-conscious about my tummy. Like, I'm at war at the moment to try and get my waist back and, and my tummy. Because my stomach just went into, like, just got so bloated. And I've been doing um, weighted hula hooping. It is fabulous. I, I'm telling you, I lost, after COVID, I lost, like, two inches around my waist and waist and tummy. And it's happening again. So, and it just works your whole core as well. Okay, so I'm going to try this one on now. And you know what, Laura? This looks so good with wide leg pants. These tops look so good. Because you can balance them out. Maybe I should put them. Okay. Here we go. This is the other one. So this is definitely more like outrageous <laughs> if you know i made these for myself and then i thought oh maybe the girls would like them but what i love is these silk scarves because these scarves go perfectly look at how oh, look at that it picks up on the green it picks up on the colors so you could also wear it like that you could wear this as a pashmina 
Do you guys call it pashmina or a shawl? Like that. You could wear it like that. So it, it takes you into the evening. You don't have to just wear it as a casual top, but it's a really nice casual top. It's got the shelf piece on underneath for your bra straps, for your bra lines. Look at that. Isn't that fab? But again, if you like this color, you could have it in, but you don't like the style, you could have it in this, this shape. Oh, I know. It is so, I'm loving these. The green is so good. I knew you would like this, Jessica. I knew you would like this. Also, Jess, what I want to say is a one shoulder fabulous for you. Because a one shoulder also cuts the expanse across. Do you see what I'm saying? So it gets that, oh, so good. All right, let me try the coral one on again. I'm getting a I'm getting a workout girls as I um as I try all of these on. I was so excited to find so it is very hard to find good quality thick cotton lycra fabric in beautiful colors. It is the hardest thing you can't believe and often the fabric is so freaking expensive it's like insane but i found it and look at how stunning so this one has got this one it would probably work great with my smaller bust as well absolutely absolutely so this one has got the buckle so it's got the little, so these I can't do that often. I mean, I can't do that many of them because I only have, I think about two more buckles. I think that's all I have. The cobalt sleeves add to the cuteness. It does. You know, the sleeve, this sleeve is stunning. So you could do this one and you could do the, the high low and you could also do it in a different, you could do one in a different color if you prefer the 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 high low dual tone could actually wear any of the colors with the with the navy you could do the cobalt oh, oh my word you could do the coral with the navy oh that looks so stunning the coral with the navy oh you could do the green with the navy where's the green are you getting my drift with the navy <laughs> The green with the navy. Oh, that looks great too. These, you could go crazy with these tops. It's really, oh, so fun. So, so fun. Okay, now let me show you the indigo rain. Because Laura, you haven't seen, I think you just watched the replay, right? You didn't see the actual. Okay, so I'm just going to pop on a different top, just a plain navy top to put with the indigo rain. Oh, my earbuds always come out when I take these tops off. It's so annoying. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh, my hair was up as well. And Laura, these would go great with your denim skirt as well. Yes, it is. It is a very, you know what? It's a coral orange. It's quite a coral orange. It's not a pink orange. I really love it. I actually thought it was more, more. It's actually turned out more orange than I thought it was. But I love it. It's so good. It's definitely, it's a, it's a very easy orange to wear though. That's what I like about it because it is, because it has got more of that corally look to it. But you're right, Laura, you're right about the orange. I love orange, 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 and orange. I'm so obsessed with orange, orange, green, turquoise. All right. So this is the indigo rain. I'm so excited about how this came out. It really came out beautifully. You can button it. So it has that same neckline, that like cut out neckline. 
And then, and I actually wore this to an event on, it was a casual girls event, like a book club kind of vibes. And I wore this as a half tuck with my jeans. I'll show you just now how I wore it. So this, you can wear it as a dress and it's got nice shape to it, but it doesn't cling, you know? So it's got the shape. It's really easy. It doesn't shine through. So I was a little bit nervous about the amount of white that was in it. And I thought, oh, is it going to shine through? It actually doesn't. It's actually quite a nice, it's a nice consistency, a, a nice thickness. And then what I did is I actually did a hot, so I actually had it underneath with nothing on underneath. And then I just buttoned it to here and I did a half tuck and I put a red belt on. Hold on, let me just, the, this was tucked, let me tuck this in. I did a half tuck. Oh, hold on. This is getting too many pieces of fabric is what's happening here. Okay, so I did this and then I had a red belt and I put my red leather jacket on over it and with these shoes and I absolutely loved it. I felt so, and everybody's like, oh, I love that, I love that, it's so good. And I was like, yeah, it's a show dress. You can wear it in so many different ways. And what I also think is really nice is that you can wear it as a duster. So you can wear it open. You could even pair, pair it with a pair of shorts on underneath. You could also pair it, ooh, 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 hold on, hold horses, hold horses. I have, I'm getting a, I'm, I'm getting a download, getting a download. And you could do it with the green as well. Oh, that color looks great on you. Are you talking about the, the top that you have? Are you talking about the orange? Laura, you're talking about the orange? Cause I would have, this is the thing with these colors girls. I just want to say that all of these colors will look good on most women. I've chosen my colors very carefully. I also have a cobalt blue, which is a really true cobalt. It's a true cobalt. It's a really good cobalt. Oh, my earbuds, the joys of earbuds. I wish there was a way I could stick it into my ear that it would stay. It's like the ear, the earpiece that they put in in QVC as well always comes out. <laughs> you can't believe how much, how much stuff they've got attached to me. They attach it to the brass strap behind. And you've got like two wires coming in. One, one's the microphone and one's the earpiece and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you could do this as well. Oh, this is so fun. Ah, oh, this is so fun. So you could do that. You don't have to tuck it in either. You can just have it out like this if you want to. And then let's see if the green would work. I think the green would work. Oh, probably the coral as well. Oh my word, the coral. See, all of these colors go with navy. So you could wear it as like a little, oh, look how cute. Do you see what I mean? Let's see the green. And then also I want to show you something with the shirt dress that is just genius that I'm so excited about. Okay. This top doesn't look good on the hanger because yeah, just don't judge it by the hanger, but it looks great on the body. See, even the green. So it is such a, this is such, the indigo rain is such a good neutral. Okay, so the other thing that you can do with this, with this shirt dress, is if you want it more fitted, let's say you just feel like wearing something more fitted. I personally prefer things more fitted. You can actually wear it as a, wrap dress so take the piece that with the buttons and it looks really stylized it looks really great and then combine it put it with a belt like this and you can wear it as a dress as a wrap dress and the nice thing about it is that you've still got that kick flare Here we go. You've still got that nice, you've got that nice flare. 
to see how fab is this but i'm i'm just loving it as a as a shirt and it's soft it's got such a soft look to it and you can wear it with leggings on underneath so if you don't love your legs for the summertime you can wear leggings like navy leggings on underneath it you can and with shorts it would look so great i used to have a shirt dress that i did years ago and i used to wear shorts underneath it with a little top and then wear the, the wear this open because it covered me and gave me some some um sun coverage because in south africa it's so hot the sun is very very harsh and i couldn't go out and you know in the sun it was terrible so ugh. okay so girls that is it that is what i have for you how fun are these pieces i'm so excited and all of this started because i needed some tops and i couldn't find any nice tops and then i found this fabric and it just had come out but girls please i don't have stock of the fabric so i am going to place it's going to be placed on order according to orders because yeah it's just i've already got I've already got fabric, so I, I don't have stock of fabric. So if you do love them, let me know. This is the other one, just as a reminder, this is the other shirt dress in the color block. So this is the teal and brown, okay, minus the that underneath. This is the teal and brown, and this is also stunning. Really, really beautiful. And you can also wear this as a shirt dress, you can do the cut, you can do the same, you can do the, the half tuck, you can wear it with one button maybe and the rest open. Oh, it's just so much fun. So Jess, because I knew I, I know you've been thinking about this one as well. So just as a reminder. <laughs> okay. So girls, are there any other questions? Do you want to go through any of the other styles again? any of the top styles this one's so good i this one was the last one that came to me yesterday afternoon and i was like oh i have to make that one <laughs> and then i love these scarves these are the scarves the silk scarves that i got from italy that go really well with these so this is the one and it's got lots of green in it so we go with, but they go with all of the, um, all of the prints. I mean, all of the colors. And then there's this one. There's just they each one of a kind. That they're hundred percent silk, made in Italy. Those are them. So these are on Tracy Gold curated. They're fabulous. I'm actually thinking, wouldn't it be quite nice for the summer to do like a silk scarf look? Don't you think? Oh, how fun. Oh, my word. Look at this, girls. And you could choose which piece you put on front at the top, depending on what you're wearing. And either you can keep it at the back, like that, or you could pull it in the front and do a nice, like, headscarf kind of vibe. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, for those dirty hay days. Look how cute this is. And of course you could tuck it in if you don't want the frilly of the, you know, if you don't want like the bow like look. You could always tuck it in. I'm sure there's a ton of um, tutorials online that you could do on how to wear a headscarf. Like those African headscarves. Oh my word, they're so beautiful. So I'm sure there's tons of ways that you could do it. But that, uh, this is a great, oh, this is a great look. I also do like the frilly. And then you wear some nice big bold earrings and it's like a really nice summer look. Whoops, hold on. Especially if you're having a dirt, I think I'm going to do this if I'm having a dirty hair day. Oh, that's so fun. If I'm having a dirty hair, okay, it's really not very well styled. <laughs> it is so cute. Don't you think? It's like farmer's market. 
Look at how cool these are with the, these. Look. It goes with bo both of them go. I actually pulled these out and I was like, oh my goodness, look at all the colors. Look at how stunning. Because that's the thing. When you're wearing the solids, it's actually really nice to tie it in with some of the, you know, like a print in a scarf or something like that. It pulls all your colors together and it gives it even more of a summery look. And with them being silk, they're not going to be hot. Even as a sarong, oh my word, even as a sarong. <gasps> I knew I should have gotten more silk scarves. Let's just see if we can do as a sarong. These are, oh, these could be very nice. Ah, it's wrapping them with glasses. Yes. The scars match. So do you mean because your glasses go behind your ears, Laura? But what you do is you tuck, because my, my ears are here, because yeah. I've got my, ear, my AirPods on. So I've actually tucked, so this will be fine. Oh, this is so stunning. I could totally, I could totally go with this look. I think this look is so fun. Let me do, let me do the other one. And the nice thing is because they're two scarves in one, depending on what color you're wearing is what you can emphasize. You see, so if you're wearing more of the green or you want to emphasize more of the green. Let's see. Oh, yes, this, oh, this one. <gasps> okay, so let's do this a little bit more um strategically the glasses at my ears are always an issue i think you just have to you have to style them so style it so that it goes okay so let's just do it together like that and then you pull it to the back right so that way do you see you're still keeping this piece out here Yes, I know. It does take a while to get a head scarf, but once it's done, it's done. See, I think you're going up your ears. I think that's the problem. So go, go further back where you've still got your hairline there and then wrap it at the top because it's not touching my ears at all. And then you've got the frilly. Or not. Oh, this one's beautiful. Oh, this one's so beautiful. This one I did more at the top of my head. Oh, it can make you look taller. <laughs> it can make you look taller. It adds it like an inch to your heart. Why not, right? Oh, that, oh my word. That looks like an Alice band. Oh, that looks like an Alice band. I was actually thinking of wearing Alice bands this summer. Look at how cool that is. Oh, with all the color in it. This is a good one, guys. This is a good way to wear it. I know. I know. And you could wear it with any of, like, you could wear it with any of the tops. Look. It goes with any of them. It's got turquoise, it's got green, it's got coral, it's got green, it's got all of the colors in there. And each time will look like you've got a whole range of color, you, you've got a whole range of these because they're so different. Because <laughs> they look so different on either side. See this one here? Looks quite different to this side. Oh, multi-use, I'm telling you. I don't think they're quite sarongs. They're not. They're not like long enough to. But they could be a. They're not long enough to be a sarong. They're more of a. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, this is not really a sarong. This is more of a because it's too narrow. I know. <laughs> Tracy temptation. The, Tracy, 
the temptress. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is so good. Well, and you, you know, the cool thing is, is that everything ties in with each other, right? So when I design something, it always happens to tie in with other things. That's the cool thing. But that's also the tempting, <laughs> the temptation. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Okay. Well, girls, I think I'm going to call it a day. This ends my temptation session, <laughs> as Laura would say. But feel free to text me and we can go through what you what you want. I know some of you have been waiting for certain pieces to be to, for you to see certain pieces to finalize what your next things are. If you want anything more, there's no pressure. Um, Laura, also, all of these would go very nicely with your denim skirt as well. And you can wear your denim skirt nicely high up. So it will give you the tummy coverage and look stunning. That'll look really awesome with these. That's one of the things I was also thinking of that I'm going to be doing is wearing this with the denim skirt. Yes, that is the thing. And, and you can play with the styling as your body changes or as you feel like something's changed for you or as you just feel like something new. You don't, you know, you, you can change the way you style it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. So remember your your um, denim skirt. You can wear your denim skirt with all these tops as well. Just not the, just not this one. Although maybe you could, I don't know, but I think it's going to create too much volume. But this is a really fun one. Okay, girls, that's it for today. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and feel free to text me, email me. For those of you who don't know me personally or with my number, feel free as well to text. Get You can go onto my text list. You can go to tracygoldnewyork.com. You can just follow that link and there'll be a pop-up within the first few seconds that will give you an option to join either a text list or an email list. Feel free to fill that out. That will give you a 10% off coupon for your first order. And for... If any of you have questions, feel free to just email me info at Tracy Gold New York, T R A C Y, gold is in the color, New York.com. And you, I will reply to you. And in fact, if you want to contact me through my website, it comes directly to me. So don't worry about that. I will respond to you and I'd love to hear from you. Okay, girls, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Feel free to text me, message me. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.